joys in heaven. Jesus says, John 14, 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust, trust in God. Trust also in me, me, and my, my Father's house, which is in heaven, are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you, I, I am going there to prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me, me, that you may be well where I am. You know the way, the way to the place in heaven where I am going. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father in heaven except through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father in heaven as well. From now on, you do know him. And I've seen him. Don't you believe that I am, I am in the Father, Father who is in heaven, and that the Father in heaven is in me? The world words I say to you are not just my own, rather it is the Father's who is in heaven living in me, who is doing his work. I tell you the truth, the truth, anyone who has faith in me, me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am, I am going to the Father and I will do, and I will do whatever. You ask in my my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. Jesus said, three, John 3, 19, this is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light, the light and, light, and will not come into the light light. For fear of his, his evil deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by that, that truth comes to that light. So that may be seen plain that what he has done has been done through God our Heavenly Father. John 4, 23, Jesus said. Yet a time of time is coming, has not come. Well, the true worshipers will worship the Father in heaven in spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father in heaven seeks. God is spirit, his worshipers must worship in spirit and truth. John 4, 33, the man who has accepted it has certified that God is the truth. For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God gives the Spirit, the Spirit without limit. The Father in heaven loves the Son, which is Jesus Christ, and has placed everything in His hands, which is eternal life at the end between eternal life in His kingdom. There is love, peace, joy, and His lights everywhere, and living His total peace, or death and hell's fire at the end. Amen. Amen. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house, which is in heaven, are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you, I am going there to prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you with me, that you may be where I am. You know the way to the place, which is in heaven, where I am going. She said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father in heaven except through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father in heaven as well. From now on, you know him and have seen him. Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father's in me? The words I say to you are not just my own, rather it is the Father's who is in heaven who living in me, who is doing his work. I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father and I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. She said in John 3, 19, this is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light. 
or that his evil deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done to God, our Heavenly Father. John 4, 23. She said that yet a time has come, and has now come, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in heaven in spirit and truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father in heaven seeks. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in spirit and truth. John 4, 33. The man who has accepted it has certified that God is the truth. For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God, the words of God. For God gives the spirit without limit. The Father in heaven loves the Son, which is Jesus Christ, and has placed everything in his hands, which is eternal judgment day at the end, between life in heaven and his kingdom, living eternally, or death and hell's fire at the end. Amen, amen. So as you go through life here, ask yourself, WWJD, what would Jesus do before doing them? And do the right thing. Remember this, 2 Peter 2.19. For a man is a slave to whatever or whoever has mastered him. So whoever or whatever has mastered you, you are a slave to and mastered by. I'm also teaching on his chosen apostles, servants, prophets, his Jesus second coming, his kingdom and judgment day, and at the end. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us and death to us. It is not to temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I've also been teaching you for weeks now that faith and good deeds, in which our actions work together, is made complete by what we do, as in James 2 and in Romans 2 6. On God, our Heavenly Father's eternal judgment day, which is at the end, God will give to each other according to what he has done to those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and mortality, which is eternal life. He, God, will give eternal life, which is with him and his kingdom. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, like I said, I gotta do it all over again. I don't know what happened. It just stopped in the middle of my sermon. I should have stopped in the beginning. I don't know what that was about. I already did the whole sermon, so I gotta do it again. Okay, remember Exodus 20, the Ten Commandments, so by and pay by them. Amen, amen. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to make this fast. I don't know what's going on with my camcorder. I think my SD card's going out. Okay, Colossians 2, pleasures are meaningless. I thought in my heart, come now, I will test you with pleasure to find out what is good. But that also proved to be meaningless. Laughter, I said, is foolish. And what does pleasure accomplish? I tried cheering myself with wine and embracing folly. My mind still guarded me with wisdom. I wanted to see what was worthwhile for man to do under heaven during the few days of their lives. I undertook great project. I built houses for myself and planted vine yards. I made gardens and parks and planted all kinds of fruit trees in them. I made reservoirs and water groves of flourishing trees. I bought male and female slaves and had other slaves who were born in my house. I also owned more Herds and flocks in Indian Jerusalem for me. I made silver and gold, which is money for myself, and the treasure of kings and providences. I acquired men and women, singers, and a heart as well. The delights of the heart of man, I became greatly far, by far, than anyone in Jerusalem before me in the days of my wisdom stayed with me. And all this, my wisdom stayed with me. I denied myself nothing my eyes desired. I refused my heart no pleasure. My heart took delight in all my work. And this is what the reward for all my labor. Yet when I surveyed all that with my hands I had done and what I had toiled to achieve. <clears throat> Everything was meaningless and chasing after the wind. Nothing was gained in the sun. 
Then I turned my thoughts to consider wisdom and also madness and folly. What more can the king's successor do than that which has already been done? I saw that wisdom is better than folly, just the light is better than darkness. The wise man has eyes in his head while the fool walks in darkness. But I came to realize that the sign fate overtakes them both. Then I thought in my heart, the fate of the fool will overtake me also. What then do I gain by being wise, I said in my heart. This too is meaningless for the wise man, like the fool, will not be long remembered in the days to come, both will be forgotten. Like the fool, the wise man too must die. <coughs> Excuse me, I got scratch throat. So I hate a life because the work that is done under the sun was grievous for me. To me, all of it is meaningless to chasing after the wind. I hate all the things I had toiled for under the sun because I must leave them to one who comes after me and who knows whether he will be wise man or fool, yet he will take control over all the work into which I have poured my effort and skill under the sun. It too is meaningless, so my heart began to despair over all my toilsome labor under the sun. If a man may do his work with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, and then he must leave all he owns to someone who has not worked for it. This too is meaningless and a great misfortune. What does a man get for all the toil and anxious striving with which he labors under the sun? All his ways, his work is pain and grief. Even at night his mind does not rest. This too is meaningless. A man can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in his work. This, too, I see is from the hand of God without, without him who can eat or find enjoyment. To the man who pleases him, God gives wisdom, knowledge, and happiness. For the sinner, sinner, he gives the task of gathering and storing up wealth. To hand it over to the one who pleases God, this, too, is meaningless, chasing after the wind. Amen, amen. Okay, like I said, I gotta make this fast. My camcorder's acting up. I think my SD card's going out. My son gave it to him, and who knows how long he's had it. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Go to Matthew 3. John the Baptist prayers away for Jesus. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching the death of Judea and saying, Repent, keep your sins to the cross. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Even though it's so far, I'm faced with God, Heavenly Father. Let's stay forward. For the kingdom of heaven is near. <clears throat> this is he who's spoken of through the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one calling the desert, preparing the way of the Lord, making a straight pass for him. John clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all of Judea. But of the whole region of Jordan, confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw that many of the Pharisees and Zedekis coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, You brought of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance, repentance. And do not think that you can say to yourselves, We, can, we have Abraham is our father, I tell you, out of these stones, God can raise up children of Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the tree, and every tree that does not produce good fruit, good fruit, will be cut down and thrown to the fire, which is hell. I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals, sandals, I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, and with fire. <clears throat> his willowing fork is in his hand. And he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff, which is the tusk of corn and grasses, with unquenchable fire, fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But when John tried to deter him, deter him, deter him, excuse me, saying, I need to baptize by you. 
do you come to me? She said, let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water and the moment heaven opened. And he saw the Spirit of God ascending like a dove in the lightning of him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. And him I am well pleased. Amen, amen. Oh, Then Judas, but Lord, he said, 
Do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus said, if anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. My Father will love him, and he will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who is in heaven. All this I have spoken while still with you, but the counsel of the Spirit, the counselor, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father in heaven will send in my name, will teach you all things, all things. And remind you of everything I have said to you, peace, peace. I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you will be glad that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I, I have told you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not speak with you much longer for the prince of this world is coming, is coming. He has no hold on me, but the world must learn that I love the Father in heaven and that I do exactly what my Father in heaven has commanded me. Come now, let's go. No, let's sleep. Excuse me. Wait a minute. <coughs> I'm gonna scratch your blood. Okay. <coughs> okay, um, looks like I make this fast. I don't know what's wrong with my camcorder. Um, go to first cramp. When I came to you, brothers, I did not come without eloquence or superior wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Christ Jesus and Him crucified. I believe to you in weakness and fear, and with much trembling, my message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with demonstration of the Spirit's power, Spirit's power, so that your faith may not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. We do have a speak message of wisdom among the mature, mature, but not the wisdom of this age, or of the who speak of God's secret wisdom, a wisdom that has been hidden, that has been hidden, and that God doesn't for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him, who love him. But God has revealed to us by his spirit. This spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. We studied this a while back. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the man's spirit within him? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God, spirit of God. We have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, but the spirit who is from God that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught by human wisdom, nope, not in words taught by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, by the Spirit, expressing spiritual truths and spiritual words. The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that comes from the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, for they are foolish to him and he he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned spiritually discerned the spiritual man makes judgment about all things but he himself is not subject to any man's judgment for who has known the mind of God but he may instruct him 
But we have the mind of Christ. Amen, amen. Oh, look at my sign. Amen, amen. Set by himself on the cross for us and our sins. Take your sins to the cross right now. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Even though I'm so far me faithful to God, our Heavenly Father, for the state forward. Amen, amen. So we can inherit eternal life at the end. Amen, amen. Like I said, I gotta do this all over again. I've already marked my Bible, so. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me if my king cord goes out again. I don't know what's going on with it. I think it's my SD card. I've had it for a while. Okay, um. <laughs>
of the kings and blessed him. And Amen gave him a tenth of everything. First his name means king of righteousness, then also king of Solomon. Means king of peace without father or mother, without genealogy, without beginning of day or end of life. Like the Son of God will remain a priest forever. Just think how great he was, even the patriots Abraham gave him a tenth of the plunder. Now the law requires the designation of Levi who became priest to collect a tenth of the, from the people. Excuse me. That is the brothers, even though the brothers are descendants from Abraham, and this man however did not track. He is descendants from Levi, yet he collected a tenth from Abraham and blessed him who had the promises. And without doubt the lesser person is blessed by the greater. In one case the tenth of collection means die. And in the other case, by the men declared to be living. One might even say that Levi, who collects the tenth, paid tenth to Abraham because Mecca meant Abraham. Levi was still the body of his ancestor. Imperfection could have been attained through the level of priesthood. Why was there still need for another priest to come on the order of Mechanach, on the order of Prophet Aaron? But when there, when there is a change of the priesthood, there must also be a change of the law. He of whom these things are as belonging to different tribe, and no one from the tribe has ever served at the altar. First, kind of that our Lord descended from Judah, and in regard to the tribe, Moses said nothing about priests. But, <clears throat> excuse me, and when we have said is even more clear in another priest like Mechaniah appeared, who has become a priest has the blemish of regarnation of his ancestry. But the base of the power and disintegration life, discretable life, for it is declared, you are a priest forever in the order of Mechaniah. But the former decoration set aside because of the weak and useless, for the weak made nothing perfect, and a better hope and tradition by we draw near to God, and it were not without an oath. Others became priests without an oath, but we became priests with an oath when God said to him, The Lord has sworn, and will not change his mind, you are a priest forever. Because of this oath, Jesus has become the guarantee of a better covenant. Now there has been many of those priests since death prevented them from continuing in office. But because Jesus lives forever, he has a permanent priesthood, permanent priesthood. Therefore he is able to save completely those who can who come to God to him because he always lives to intercede with them, to intercede with them. Such a high priest meets our needs. Who is holy, holy, blameless, pure, set apart from sinners, exalted above the heavens? Unlike the other high priest, he does not need to offer sacrifices day by day, first for his own sins and then for the sins of the people. He sacrificed for uh, their sins once for all when he offered himself. For the law appointed as high priests, men who are weak, men who are weak, but the oath which came after the law appointed the Son, which is Jesus Christ, who is made perfect forever. Amen, amen. Well, anyway, I hope my uh, camper is not acting up. Okay. Excuse me. First Peter 4. Excuse me. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude. Because he who has suffered in his body is done with sin. As a result, he does not live the rest of his earthly life for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detestable idolatry. They think 
It's strange that you do not plunge with them into the same flood of petition, and they heap abuse on you. But they will have to give account to him who is ready to judge, to judge the living and the dead. Just at the end. For this is the reason the gospel was preached. The gospel was preached even to those who are dead, so that they might be judged according to man in regards to the body. But live according to God. Live according to God in regards to the spirit. The spirit. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray. Above all, love each other and brotherly love deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. Faithful is ministering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, he should do it as one speak in the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides so that in all things God may be praising Jesus Christ to him. Be the glory and the power for all never. Amen. Dear friends, do not be surprised. At the painful trial you are suffering, the painful trial you are suffering, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice that you participate in the suffering of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. The spirit of glory and the God rest on you. If you suffer, it should be not be as a murderer or a thief or any other kind of criminal, not even a murderer. However, if you suffer as Christians, as Christians, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name, that name. For it's a time for judgment. It's a time for judgment to begin with the family of God, the family of God. And if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God, the gospel of God? And it is harder for the righteous to be saved. What will become the ungodly and the sinner? For then who, those who suffer according to God's will, should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good, do good. Amen, amen. Sorry I do this fast because I don't know what's going on with my camcorder, so. Um, number one, let's still follow and be faithful to God, our Heavenly Father. Number two, love and take care of your personal family, spouse, and children. Number three, comes work 40, 50 hours a week. Number four, comes your friends. My number one purpose in my organization is to preach the gospel, the real God's truth. Number two, is help people. Number three, is helping up our major cities and make them a better, safe place to live. I've emailed Governor Bruce Rana, Mayor Jim Artis and city council on some issues such as pro-rights that are needed at Glen Oaks, Glen Oaks Parks, Wooden Playground, excuse me. Big Hollow Road, off of Charter Oak Road, there's a steep hill, um, <coughs> excuse me. There's a steep hill, guardrails are needed on both sides, a deer sign crossing for safety, a fence completely around the playground on the riverfront where two small children have drowned for their safety. I was on television a few months ago for the issue. The land that's for sale, Near the Glen Oak Learning Center School. Donated to them for a flower garden, hands on experience in a wall, and called it a wall of dreams. For them to paint and put their go on it, for them and their future and for our city. Land that's for sale on North Allen Road, next to the Walmart Super Center, used for a truck stop, since it's near our major highways. Or the old Cubs Field building on Oxville. It's also by a major highway to help our city. There's an opening coming up on the city council I'm applying for, so I can help our city there as well. I can use your prayers. Thank you. Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you there. I have two songs. It depends on the time I have my camcorder if it doesn't act up. Otherwise, I'll do one of them after my sermon. Um, I recorded several songs. Some of them were sent to WCIC 9145 radio station. My band's called The Light of Serpents, Serpents and Angel. I have songs to download. I've done two videos two to three months ago. Just go back backwards on my sermons. You'll see them. 
and for donations on my site. On my novels, I finished my biography with my picture on it. Summary about my novels, and I've just finished a paragraph summary for each chapter on my first novel. I have some other things that needs done, then I'll send it, my first novel to the publisher. Then I'll go from there. I'm going to college to be the military substitute pastor and counselor. When I get a building, I'll have good use furniture and clothes, provide free computer classes, hire people that desperately need a job and pay minimum wage for them, to them, and help for city there as well. Now let's pray for the violent weather in Mississippi killed 10 for their families and victims and text the tornado 18 dead for their families and victims. In South America's flood, 100,000 fleet for the victims. China, a mudslide, 13 injured, 91 missing for the families of victims. A bombing attack in Paris from weeks ago, 129 killed, 352 injured for the families of victims. The Mexico hurricane. From a few weeks ago, for the victims, Dan Margarita has health problems. David has severe asthma. John Heather Donald and his two older teenage daughters, they are going through something personal. Our president and his hard work and came for our country. I mean, men there, rulers of our cities and states, colleges, schools, grandparents, children, policemen and women, firemen and women, servicemen and women, the MH370 airplane that went missing about a year ago for them, their families. I haven't heard the latest on that either. Um, I'm praying for you all, pray for each other, pray for my health organization, all the songs I've written. House I'm living in, I've spent three, four thousand dollars on my organization, and it's a place to worship, spend saying goodbye, buy from the Holy Spirit, amen, amen now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I said I did this all over again, so I'm really doing it bad, so excuse me. Um, well, I've had two things happen last week. My furnace was acting up. I had to order a card. My son's rigged it up. Um, anyway, until then, and a minor problem with my van. Anyway, um, hope y'all had a nice New Year's. Mine was nice and peaceful. Um, like I said, I hope it turns out okay. I don't know if something's going my camcorder. I think my um, SD card's going out. Anyway, thank you and God bless you. It's raging.